today's video is on how to make nail stencils so you can get really, really nice looking designs on your nails without having to worry about freehanding them because I know I cannot draw to save my life. So yeah, it's super easy. I hope you guys enjoy this and if you want to see how to make your own nail stencils, then keep watching. So I painted my nails with a coat of my base color and this is Zoya's Purity. And then because I went into the drugstore today and everything that I saw was Valentine's Day, I decided to do Lovey Dovey from Essie as my heart color. Now alternatively you can use a texture polish which will create a textured heart. The only downside of this is you can't top coat it. And um, if you do use a texture polish, you want to wait for it to dry a little bit before you remove the tape, as opposed to a regular polish, which you remove the tape before it dries. That's the goal, is to remove it before it dries. So we're going to use regular polish. Right now I have a texture polish on my pinky finger, which you will see, but uh, it is best to remove it once it's a little bit dry if you're going to do texture. You can do this is with a piece of blue painter's tape. Now I use painter's tape because it's made to go around painted walls without pulling up um, the finish of the wall or the paint or anything like that. So it's really good for this. So I'm taking a small piece of painter's tape and I'm going to take my hole punch, which is a heart-shaped hole punch that I got from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, I was looking for a star, but I actually couldn't find it. And I'm going to take my tape and put it just on the back of my hand really quickly to remove some of the adhesive so it's not so sticky. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole like that. And I'm going to try and center it the best I can uh, on my ring finger here. Now it only has to be stuck down around the heart. It doesn't have to be stuck down uh, around the entire nail because you only want the seal around the heart. So just make sure that it's down really well around the heart. And now because we're using a white base, we won't have to use multiple coats of polish. So I'm just going to put one coat of my polish over the heart. And then you can remove this right away. It's actually best to remove it right away. If you let it dry, it's likely that you'll pull the whole heart off with you. So just remove it slowly. And because this is a heart and there's like the, the peak and the point, it's best to kind of lift up a little bit on both sides and then take up the middle. And then you have a heart on your nail. And then we're gonna top coat it. Now apparently um, my middle finger was not dry but the rest of my nails were because the tape pulled the polish up. So I tried to fix that and straighten out the heart the best I could. Um, when I put the top coat on, it will definitely look a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat my nails. And you do, like always, want to wait until these are pretty much dry before you add your top coat or else your brush will drag the pink into the white and ruin the whole design. And there you go. That is a really easy way to make nail stencils. You can get so many different shapes at the craft store. Um, mine was just really picked over. Uh, because they were having a sale on these um, punchers, so <laughs> I'm sure if you go anytime when there's not a massive sale, you'll be able to get a lot of different shapes. I think it's super, super cute, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will talk to you later.